Hi guys, welcome to Money Talks UAE. Welcome to another video, another update, another Sawa update. And also we're going to talk about the stock market and cryptocurrency market. So uh, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. So far, 2,380 subscribers. We are growing fast and I cannot wait to see that 3,000 uh, soon. So thank you very much guys for your support. And uh, my channel is all about how to make money, save money and grow your money, especially if you're living in the UAE. So uh, you can uh, go ahead and watch all of these free content for you just like that. So everything here is for, for free. I'm not a financial advisor, but I'm just sharing with you my own experience. All right. So uh, there's also a Facebook group that you guys uh, are welcome to join. I'm going to put the link on the description. And there's a lovely people there. So uh, if you're having any financial problems, you can just post it there. And I'm sure a lot of people will help you, including me. And if you want to reach out to me, I am now going to put my Instagram link in the description below as well. So if you want to talk to me personally, if you want to leave me a message, if you have any problems or you want any advice, I'm not a, a, a financial advisor I said, I'm not going to charge you for any money or something. So uh, this is just like uh, something add up to you guys if you have any other questions. All right. So now moving on to Sarawa, I'm going to start with Sarawa first. As you know, always, I like to give you guys updates about my Sarawa investments. And as you can see, my uh, balance is getting crushed. Uh, recently and as you can see my earnings is minus two thousand two hundred and fifty four dollars which is a, a minus return of 16.44 percent and this is my net deposit this is how much money i put into sarwa and now i'm losing two thousand two hundred and fifty four dollars so now the current balance is eleven four hundred forty six and it is expected to even go lower because the stock market is crashing and there's a lot of negative news. There's a lot of bad news in the stock market. Inflation is everywhere. A lot of bad stuff happening in the world. You have like this Ukraine, uh, Russian war that's not ending and doesn't have any sign that's going to end soon. So uh, this is the positions. And as you can see, the assets are all negative. So, so this is the first time I'm seeing like all negative. Before I used to have some plus in real estate and also on the stock markets. But as you can see, everything is down and the biggest loser uh, is actually Bitcoin. So you can see Bitcoin is minus 52%. And that's indicating one thing. All right. So this is something you have to learn from Bitcoin and the difference between Bitcoin and the stock market. So the difference is the volatility. Look how much loss I'm losing with Bitcoin. So like this is like half of my money with Bitcoin is gone. So if I cancel my Sarawa account right now and I sold my shares and everything so uh, i'm gonna lose like half of my positions so that's why sarah is only doing five percent in bitcoin and this is by the way a growth uh, level so this is like a very risky uh, account uh, sarah account so this is the maximum risk level that i'm taking with this account so if you put even less probably you won't have bitcoin and even if you include bitcoin it's still gonna be five percent so imagine if all of my investments was just Bitcoin, like 100% Bitcoin, I would be actually having right now, like, I don't know, like 6,000 instead of this 11,000 because I'm going to lose a lot of money and Bitcoin nowadays is really, really doing the bad, bad days. And a lot of people are losing tons of money, like billions of dollars because of cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin in particular. So uh, I'm going to show you guys the past performance. And this is my worst week in Sarawa since I stopped uh, investing in Sarawa. And this is the worst week I can talk about because uh, I lost around 1400 in one week. So in one week, I lost this amount just like that, as you can see. We start from 12,800 and now we are 11,400. So just like that, guys, this is the stock market. And this is why the risk level is also uh, a consideration, something to consider, because if you are not feeling uh, good about these kind of losses, I mean, like no one is feeling good, but if you're not, not comfortable and if you cannot sleep at night, if you see these kind of losses, that means this risk level is not for you, all right? For me, I'm actually really excited to see this kind of stuff because I, I never see the stock market goes like this because uh, before I, I was not actually trading the stock market 
and uh, I just started doing that like uh, I don't know like three or four years ago so uh, this is the first time that I'm seeing something like this there was also the uh, pandemic uh, it was like a really crazy moment but now it's 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 really uh, different from the COVID because at that time the COVID was the only reason there was nothing else that's moving the market because the stock market crashed just because of COVID and there was not nothing else to talk about it was COVID. Everything blame the COVID. All right. But now you have a lot of things uh, that's moving the stock market, you know, and uh, I'm going to start actually giving you some uh, news that happens this week. Uh, inflation uh, reached 8.6% in May. So there was like a CPI update. If you don't know what is a CPI is uh, basically the consumer price index. Every month there is a, a news about this index. They give you a rate and this rate shows you the level of inflation, the level of prices in the USA. So this is a, a big indication about inflation in the USA. And you can see this is the graph and this is from 1982 until now. And as you can see, we didn't have this kind of levels for, for, for years, you know, so like the highest ones was like in the 1990s or like this one in 2008 or even this one 8.4 in January 1982. So we are back into this period of time. And at that time till now, we didn't have any problems with inflation like now. So now we have 86 and this is a crazy, crazy number because like the prices of everything is rising and you don't have to go to the USA to see this. You can see this everywhere in the world. Even here in the UAE, the price of fuel is crazy. It's now it's like more than double since since like two or three years. So this is this is the thing that we're gonna talk about. It's it's a lot of things are causing this inflation. So it's not something that the USA can control. So we are trading in the USA. So like most of these positions that I have uh, in Sarawa is uh, in the stock market, in the US stock market. So that's why uh, I'm following the news in the USA. So and that's why also I'm showing you the news of the USA. And as you can see here, everyone is talking about the Fed and what they're going to do to control this uh, inflation. And as you can see here, uh, the Fed is likely to boost the interest rates by three quarters of a point this week. So they're trying to increase the interest rate to control inflation. Okay. Fed, as we said, is trying to control inflation. And uh, once you go to the stock market, guys, so uh, CNBC, as you can see, guys, this is the, the headline. So it's all about the Fed and the Fed is going to talk today. Actually, they, they have actually a meeting and they are probably uh, going to announce an increase of the interest rates. And uh, you can see a lot of news, Tesla as well as like having a bad time now with like accidents and stuff. So anyway, uh, we are just focusing on the US now. So I'm going to give you something called fear and greed index. This is something that, I've, that I, I can see it like online and it indicates to me what is the best time to enter the stock market. Because if you know Warren Buffett, one of the greatest investors of all time, he quotes that if you want to make money, okay, be greedy when others are fearful and be fearful when others are greedy. So now is the time to be greedy actually in the stock market. If you are planning to invest in the stock market, this is the best time you, you can choose to invest. I'm not going to say that you're going to put your money now and tomorrow you're going to start making millions of dollars and money like everywhere. No, the stock market, I'm going to go here and show you actually the index as you can see. The stock market since November 2021 is in a decline period. It's in a bear market and you can see these big, huge red candles. And, and now we are back in the levels of November 2020. So imagine it's, it's like more than uh, one and a half year and we're almost back to the pre-COVID levels here. So uh, this is this is really scary, but uh, it can continue. It can be like go even more lower because we still don't know what's going to happen with inflation and we're still having COVID like cases rising nowadays and you can see that even in the UAE we have a lot of cases rising and this is not only in the UAE but like everywhere in the world like we have new cases we have this monkey box disease that is also spreading a lot of negative news that you can see everywhere and that might take the stock market to tank a little bit uh, or even more of that so 
and look at cryptocurrencies this is what i'm talking about like cryptocurrencies is like it's this is a huge movement to the downside so since uh november 2021 we were in the top highs here in 68 and now we're in the 21,000 level and i'm sure that we already hit the 20,000 level so this is this this crypto market is a lot of people who are actually like great investors they don't invest their money in cryptocurrencies because uh it's something complicated to understand this is a technology you are investing in technology uh, it's not like the stock market when you are investing your money in a well-known company so you do your research you see this company if they are gonna make money with their business and that's gonna motivate you to put some money in this uh, company and then you get uh, of course uh, some returns with this company but cryptocurrencies is completely different story it's just a technology and this is something not easy to understand so that's why it's really really high risk investment that you have to think a lot before you invest on. I'm not saying don't invest in cryptocurrencies, but I say like invest, but in a low amount of money. Don't put all of your money in this basket because it's too much to me uh, to see these kind of losses. So a lot of people, they invest in the cryptocurrencies like on the top highs here, and now they are down. And you can see like most of the cryptocurrencies, like even Ethereum, uh, it was here 4,800, now like 1,000. So imagine if you put some money here and now you're seeing it in this level. Uh, I am investing in cryptocurrencies, by the way, and not only in Sarwa, but I have my uh, my wallets in other places like Binance, for example. And I'm losing some money with this stuff, but uh, this kind of money for me, it's I know it's risky. So uh, even if I, it becomes zero, I, it's okay. It's, this is part of the investment and I was willing to take the risk. But some people they're not willing to take the risk they just want to make a lot of money and they 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 are not actually willing to lose this kind of money so uh, this is it guys this is all about the stock market and as of today now you can see the stock market is starting to be green but this is uh this is like the rain before you know the storm the calm before the storm because the fed is gonna talk soon and we're going to see what's going to happen with inflation and all of that stuff. So uh, don't forget, guys, to uh, subscribe and also use the link that I always provide for Sarwa. Uh, if you are new to Sarwa, you can uh, sign up using my link and you're going to get a free $50 uh, as a welcome bonus from Sarwa. And uh, as I said always, guys, do your research, study, and this is how you make money, guys. Get information and take a risk course you have to take some risk if you want to make money but try always to limit your risk like don't put like too much risk on your money because this is your hard earned money so don't just throw it like that so uh, if you have guys any questions put them in the comment section below or you can contact me through instagram or uh, in the facebook group and i'll be super glad to help you out so take care guys enjoy your day and i'll see you in the next video